Hello dear programmers, how are you doing today? A very warm welcome to my channel and topic of this video is partial function applications using std bind in C++11 onwards. This is one of the most awesome functionality provided by C++11 onwards and I bet you that you are gonna like it a lot. Okay, so let's start understanding what does partial function application means and how we can make use of it using std bind. Okay, the header file for std bind is functional and you have to include this header file. Now let's assume that I am having a function which takes three parameter first, second and third. And this is a very simple function which just returns the sum of these three numbers. So how are we going to call this function? Wait a minute, you might be thinking that what is this? Why I am asking that how to call this function? It must be the simplest thing and everybody must know that how to call a function in C++. Well, just hang on for a couple of more minutes and you will understand why I am asking this particular question. So let me call this function by declaring a variable called result. And I'm calling this function with three numbers, one, two, three, because it takes three parameter and I print out the result, okay? And if I go ahead and run this code, you can see that number six is printed over here and that's the result. One thing you have to understand that we cannot call this function by providing just one, two. I have to provide all the parameters of this particular function. Let's assume an imaginary scenario where you have three threads running t1, t2 and t3 and the first parameter came as a result of t1, second parameter came as a result of t2 and third parameter came as a result of t3 which means that you have to wait for all three threads to get executed before you can call this particular function which means that if t1 gets completed much before t2 and t3 you have to make sure that the output is saved at a very safe place which you can use over here at a later moment of time. Now this is the problem because you not only have to take care of thread life cycle but also to take care of output of thread and have to pass it around till you manage to call this particular function. Now what if I tell you that you don't need to have all three parameters to call this function. You can call this function with one parameter or two parameters. Surprise! This is what std bind provides us and this is what is meant by partial function application. Let's see how we can do that. First of all you have to use a namespace called placeholders. This is also there in functional file. Now what we have to do is that instead of calling this result, uh, let me just comment it for a while. I'll create an auto because it's easy to do that. That's why we use auto. Let's say uh, I got the result from t1 and t1 gives me a variable called first with a value of 100. Okay. Now I can call f2 function 2 and I will say std bind. I have already included namespace std so I can just use bind and I pass the function this function fn and I am passing the first parameter but I don't have second and third parameter. What I will do I will create a placeholder for this saying underscore 1 and underscore 2. These are my placeholders, which means that this function is already having first, but not second or third. Okay. Now let's say after some time, t2 gives me second variable, which is let's say 200. Now what I will do is that I'll say auto third function is equal to bind again. Now earlier we binded the function, which was the original function. Now I will bind function 2. I'll say f2. Now I am passing second. But still I don't have the third argument, so I'll say placeholder 1. I am still waiting for one argument. Now once we have the third argument, let's say third equal to 300, you can just call this function f3 with third and just see the result. You can see that 600 is being printed over here. Did you understood what I'm trying to do? I know this might be a bit confusing, but it is very simple guys. Let's recap. This is my function which takes three parameters. Okay. 
but at any moment of time in my code I have only one parameter available so what I will do I'll call the bind function for that particular function and pass the only parameters now how many parameters are left two I'll say underscore one and underscore two for that they are the placeholder of two remaining parameters now I got the second parameter I take this function this function already has the first parameters I am passing the second parameter but this function still doesn't have the last parameter which is one pending so I kept the placeholder as one now I got the third parameter and then I am calling this function and which gives me the result and this is the place where this function gets called finally okay because there is no placeholder left now I don't need to pass the function sequence wise which means that um, I can have the first as a second parameter over here and the placeholder will be underscore one and underscore two okay the result will be same so if your function is taking three parameters you can receive first as a first parameter or even you can receive second as a first parameter or third as a first parameter it doesn't make a difference for example I'll say I am receiving the last as a first so in this particular case also you can see 600 okay now one very important thing about it that you have to be very careful about the placeholder if I make it underscore one right now I'm getting 600 see what will be the output now the output is 500 why because underscore one represent a placeholder which is filled by this guy second even if i am saying underscore one over here this second is already available and it fills even after we bind it at later point of time that's the region 500 being printed over here so did you like it I hope you like this particular functionality because partial function applications are very useful especially in scientific and mathematical calculation and also in multi-threaded application. Just go ahead and practice about it and let me know if you find any difficulties in the comment section. Thanks a lot guys. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks a lot.